I am Susan Shainer with Sage Leadership Strategies, and I'm your host today of Community Forum. And the topic of tonight's show is we're going to talk about aligning your energy to show up as your best, most full self at work and life. And my guest tonight is Kelly Black, who is the founder of Balancing the Executive Life. Welcome, Kelly. Thank you, Susan. Nice to have you. Great to be here. <laughs> so I want to let our audience know that you and I are colleagues and we partner on different projects together. And that what we talked about doing, usually I do a formal interview, but we talked about um, really having more of a conversation mm -hmm. around what do we mean by energy, how we can do this. So I thought what I'd do is we'll, uh, I'll throw out some questions and then you can start answering the questions and I might chime in here and there because since we partner in this work we know what we're that's talking great. about. I hope you will chime in. <laughs> I think that's a wonderful approach. Please do. Okay. Yeah. So the first thing is um, the name of your business is Balancing the Executive Life. So what does balance mean to you? Balance means to me when I feel balanced I feel like everything's in alignment, yeah. and then I'm able to flow. I'm yeah. able to flow with whatever challenges come. I'm able to access my expanded self, and I'm able to show up fully. Yeah, yeah. So it's interesting. I mean, one thing that I always think about with that as well is, is the whole notion of integration. Mm -hmm. You know, because you really can't show up fully unless you're the alignment and the integration. So all the because all the different fragments and pieces really are aligned and in sync. And I think that's a great point because we're so bombarded by technology and crazy schedules and there's so yep. many things that can pull us out of alignment and yeah. pull us into a state that's not integrated. Yeah. That it's really important that we have tools, technologies that help us maintain an integration. Yeah. If for no other reason then we can show up fully and also enjoy our life more. Hey, what about that? Yeah, hey, a little great. more joy, a little more that's presence, good. a little more yeah. positive engagement so, with those around us. Yeah, exactly. So, so let's talk about what do we mean by energy? How do we define that? Energy is that unseen force that directs everything. You know, we are conditioned to make our decisions and to base our our assumptions, the way we go through life, on everything that we see. And I would invite everybody con to consider um, a hypothesis, which is that energy, 90% of what directs us and what feeds us and what motivates us are things that we don't see. You know what's interesting? I always find that like, if you walk into a room, let's say it's a business meeting or you just walk into the house at home, you walk in and immediately your antenna know, you know something either good's happening or something not so good's happening. And, and that's a great example of energy. Yeah. You instantly know there's a, an inner compass that can feel whether something's positive or something's negative and yeah. So it's funny because we all work with it, we all know it, we all have a feeling of what we, we mean by it every day and yet people think of it as this is really abstract thing but it's very concrete actually. It's very concrete and you can show it, you can see it concretely in the way that people lead. Everybody's worked for bad bosses and everybody's yeah. felt the feeling where, you know, because energy is bi-directional. So all it takes is one person in a group in a senior position who is not able to keep themselves in alignment, is not able to keep themselves integrated to throw the whole thing off. And ideally, you have an integration, you know, you even see it in nature. You see yep. the lead bird is integrated and the whole flock's following in a cohesive, harmonious way. There's yeah. not bits breaking yep. off and going yep. all over the place. Well, yeah, and all it takes is one person in a group dynamic to mm -hmm. either feed that in a positive way mm -hmm. or in a negative way. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It can be very powerful with one person's influence, Absolutely. whether they're the formal leader or, the, or not. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why it has such big implications for organizations, for families, for every aspect of life. Yeah. Yeah. Now I know, so let's talk for a minute about NOM coaching and consulting because we both do NOM. So tell us about NOM. NOM is an amazing technology, a very practical technology that gives people very concrete tools to manage their energy in a way that allows them to be always internally ready that it gives them the capacity to show up as their expanded selves, as their most expansive selves, to go beyond their comfort zone. It's a technology that, that they can utilize to cause a concrete shift. In, in their energy, in their energy patterns. In and their I, energy patterns. You know, and, and, and I think one word that always comes to mind in, in my work with it as well is 
um, resiliency. Mm -hmm. You know, regardless of what's happening on around you, which is what you're talking about, your internal readiness, mm -hmm. is the um, unflappableness, the presence mm -hmm. with that energy and the tools that enable you to have that kind of presence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, NOM is an amazing technology in that it enables you to be in the eye of the storm, but not affected by the storm. It enables you to consistently think clearly from a neutral point so that it goes beyond the whole concept of positive psychology to a platform that's really mental agility so that you can know, be completely present and show up fully in alignment so that you can know at any given moment how to act, how to speak, to uplift not only yourself but others around you. Well, the interesting thing about positive psychology, because um, you know I have a background, mm -hmm. I was originally trained as a therapist, yeah. so I've got that clinical background, but it's really in the league of some of the more cognitive therapies mm -hmm. and there is an important component to um, thinking mm -hmm. and course. definitely NAM has some of the thinking components but what's really struck me about it in my work with it is how it works on the nervous system mm -hmm. so things that really get embedded in the cells of our bodies mm -hmm. so we can think all we want but if we're not also addressing the nervous system so I'm just gonna throw that out there what would you say about no that? I think that's a really great point because what's happening because we're so bombarded by technology and just the demands of modern living and all the chaos of a global economy and the upheaval in the world today most of us are operating from our sympathetic nervous system which yeah. is the fight-or-flight response and the result of that is it increases our chances of getting sick. Yeah. It increases yeah. our chances of defaulting to a negative mindset and a whole cascade of other things. And what NAM does because of the function of sound and the principle of sound, it's able to recalibrate the autonomous nervous system in a way that people are able to get back to functioning from their parasympathetic nervous system. So what happens is people are able to act from a state of relaxation. So they're not always jacked up on adrenaline. Yeah. You know, adre right. adrenaline's great. Adrenaline wanted, junkies. Adrenaline it's, junkies. It's an addiction. It's an addiction. And the thing yeah. is, our systems weren't meant to be on adrenaline 24-7. So when that happens, not to get too far into a scientific discussion, but when that happens, our immune system starts to break down and a whole host of you know, physiological. Yeah, but you're hitting on a couple of things. One is it's grounded in science. Mm -hmm. and, and the second thing that you said is, is that um, when our sympathetic nervous system is overstimulated mm -hmm. it can be all too easy for a whole cascade of things to happen mm -hmm. such as negative thinking exactly and in fact there's studies it's really interesting there's studies that show that when we're in our sympathetic nervous system which is basically the stress response yeah what happens is our brain becomes a co-conspirator in defaulting to self-limiting patterns and negative thinking, negative behaviors, all the whole whatever yeah, falls under yeah. the umbrella of self-limiting patterns. And in fact, um, last August there was a big article in the science section of the Times, basically calling for technologies that help change that response in us. And NOM is one of those technologies that can yeah. do so in as little as a minute. Yeah. So it's very applicable. It's something people can do when they're driving. It's something people can do before they go into a meeting. They can do it at any time to bring themselves back into alignment so that they can show up as their full self and be fully present. Well, that's what I think is so great about it. It's practical, it works, and it works in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. It's portable. People don't need to hook up to a machine. You know, it's right exactly. there. They could go and do, you know, some sort of exercise. And, exactly. And, and make a shift. Yeah, they can make a shift at will. Yeah. At will because all the tools are portable. They don't need to go. I mean, we all have like to think we have great physicians, great right, healthcare right. professionals that support us, but we can't always go get to somebody's office or take an hour out of our day or more to go right. see someone to recalibrate ourselves. So it's an amazing gift to have a technology available that utilizes the systems that we travel with anyways. For instance, our breath. Yeah. And, you know, it's quite a gift. And that's with you wherever you go. That's with you wherever you go. It's a I question mean, if, of what you're doing with it. Yeah, and I think it's so important pe for people to realize that, because let's face it, if we're alive, we've got to breathe anyways. <laughs> we're all breathing at some point. It's we're all breathing. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're all breathing, and I think it's important to make the point that people don't realize that their breath can be used as a tool to enhance their thinking. 
yeah. so that they're sharper, clearer, more, more focused yeah. to enhance the state of their health. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so y y y you were hitting on one thing around um, uh, it's stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system. Mm -hmm. But I think also what's so great about NAM is it, it's, it's very integrative. I mean, that word just comes up for me a lot mm -hmm. around um, it works with both light and sound. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we know our sympathetic nervous systems are bombarded th through light. 24-7. With through light. Um, and if you live in an urban area through sound, for instance, if you live in New York City, yeah. there's a low-level noise all the all time. All the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. So just raising your yourself to above a level where it's not it's no longer affecting you in a way that's well, taking away. Yeah, and just how it Im nom positively impacts so many things that we have to do as human beings. So we mentioned breathing. Yeah. It also affects the caliber of our speech. Yeah. So how we communicate. Yeah. And how effective so, that communication so is. So say more about that. So how does it do that? And in what ways does it do that? Because nom puts you in a more neutral mindset, your speech becomes less reactive. So for instance, if you're confronted with somebody who maybe is confronting you, we use the word confronting, in a way that may <laughs> not, that may push some of your buttons. Yeah. What NOM yeah. does is it gives you the space, that two or three seconds you need, so that you can be responsive but not reactive. And that, especially today, is so important because all we all experience is things speeding up mm -hmm. and as you said the constant bombardment I mean I know with a lot of our clients mm -hmm. I mean they're in back-to-back -back meetings plus they get back to their desk and they've got what you know 150 200 emails that all need a response like yesterday and then they get home and because of everything being so sped up I work with a very senior person at one of the major technology companies and she's saying, you know, the tone that's been set because they're a technology company is that they're expected to be accessible 24-7. So for her, it becomes how can she lead her team, lead herself within that construct so that she can lead her team better. And if she's showing up completely exhausted right. and drained right. and all over the place, it's impossible. She's got to model the behavior. And so what she finds by using very simple, accessible techniques, that, yeah. to your point, that are portable, that are based in the technology of NOM, yeah. she's able to sleep better. So even if she doesn't get eight hours of sleep, the quality of her sleep, the six hours, is much better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's e able to show up more fully, more energized, more present, and she's able to consistently respond in that context in a way that doesn't deplete her. Yeah, so, so some very direct effects and then some side benefit effects. Exactly. I mean, exactly. obviously how you show up, how you present yourself, that's very clear and forthright. Exactly. But then having that and working with making decisions and then modeling it for your mm -hmm. folks. Mm -hmm. So let's and showing up fully at home, you know. Yeah. Many of us, she's like many of us. They, she has a family. She has a husband, you know. So yes. she's got to show up at home fully and at work. Well, technology has enabled us to do so many things, mm -hmm. and it's the humans that are operating the technology, exactly, which but, we forget. But but. but uh, us as machines, or you know, we weren't necessarily built mm -hmm. for but some of some of the things that we're demanding mm -hmm. of ourselves. Mm -hmm. So it's like, how do how do we do two things? Increase our capacity mm -hmm. in some areas where we can, mm -hmm. and secondarily, when and where do we set the boundaries on what we can mm -hmm. and can't do? And you make a great point in terms of increasing our capacity because yeah. that's something because NOM recalibrates your nervous system and also integrates the left and right hemispheres of your brain so you're able to access the analytical part, the left side, along with the very expansive creative part which is the right side and you're able to integrate those two things as a function of NOM and a practice of NOM, then what you're able to do is you're able to manage the technology better. Yes. Yes, because you're, you're making different kinds of decisions. Exactly. And when you're making those decisions, you're present in a different way. Exactly. Yeah. So, so let's do this, because I want to talk further with you about it in terms of your own experience, but, mm -hmm. but why don't we give the audience a demonstration I, of one quick tool? Yeah, and why don't we invite them to, to participate? Great. Wouldn't that be great? Yes, that would be great. Okay, okay. because you know what? So, it's uh, quick, and then this is something, because our goal, too, is that some, you know, they'll be able to take this with them after the show. Exactly.
So why don't you talk the audience through it, and I will demonstrate. Okay. And so we're going to invite the audience in that you can um, do do what Kelly is guiding us to do. And if you're not sure, I will be doing it so you can see what it looks like. That's great. Good. Yeah, I think okay. that's perfect. So one. So of I'm the... your at-home audience person. That's great. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for um, okay. participating. Okay, so one of the things that many of us don't know is that we can use our hands to affect our thought patterns. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a simple hand symbol, which is also known as a mudra, called Gyan Mudra. So you're gonna bring your thumb to the tip of your index finger, and whatever's comfortable for you, you can have your palms facing forward, you can have them resting in your lap, you can have one in front of your heart, either way. You have three options, whatever works so for you. So I could you. do this, this, this. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay, and what you wanna try to do is just sit up straight, as straight as you can. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a very simple exercise with your breath. Okay, so just to start, and you can keep your eyes open, it's fine. You know, take a deep breath in through your nose. And then exhale through your nose. And now inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then inhale and exhale at your own pace. And that's it. How do you feel? I feel really relaxed. Yay! <laughs> Yay! So that's I do. That's awesome. So and you know, um, the reason we keep extending the exhale that way is because your exhale corresponds to your nervous system. So it's a very simple way if you're feeling anxious. A lot of people are struggling with anxiety. If you're feeling yeah. fearful, that's yeah. a very simple exercise that you can do to cut fear, anxiety, and help you show up fully. And, and that's what this particular one's for, but we have them for all different kinds of... Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a very, very vast yeah. science, which is why it's categorized as a therapy. And it's why it's being implemented not only in companies and organizations and community centers and every sector of society that you can think of, but it's also why there's a whole non-biomedical society that's doing studies, clinical studies and research at Sloan Kettering and in other places to yeah. document the beneficial effects of NOM on the brain and on health. Yeah, so it's probably important for our audience to know that this is actually, this one little simple little exercise, I mean, how long did that take, like a minute? Yeah, it, this is something that takes a minute to a minute and a half, depending on how, how you're counting. <laughs> you know, if you're counting one, two, three, four, I five. Like, I was like, really? Just kind of, I mean, I have good lung capacity, <laughs> but I'm thinking, good lung I capacity. I, Right, because obviously I practice, but I'm like, wow, I hope everybody at home, this is, this is but not so thing, slow for them, right? The thing that's amazing what happen, is yeah. what you find is because of the way the breath, because it's so... This is a science, so the way it's calibrated automatically has a certain effect on both hemispheres of your brain and on your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. So even people who breathe very shallowly 
find they're able to extend their breath. And most people can get to the end. Yeah, so I think the important thing is, if anybody was trying this at home with us, mm -hmm. thank you, bravo. Bravo, right? yeah. <laughs> um, and that if they found like, oh, it was counting too, so they could always modulate. Exactly the count for what's going to work for them at the beginning exactly. and the more they do this the greater their in, you know they'll increase their lung capacity over they time will. they will yeah. and the thing is you know i have quite an amazing example one of my clients who's a partner in a law firm she before she engages with her clients and before she goes into court, she does um, family law, so she handles a lot of divorces. and They're probably those, tense situations. They're a little tense. <laughs> but what she has done is she contracts with her clients as part of working with their firm that they do this exercise before they start the meetings and before idea. they go into court because what she's found is it's, she's able to get it done quicker, save her clients money, and manage the time better. Because it resets everybody. Exactly. So this, especially in a situation like that. Exactly. That has potential to be very high stakes, high volatile, anxiety. high anxiety. A lot of fear yeah. where you're going into a negotiation. Exactly. And, the, and it's really become a value add for her firm. The clients love it. Well, it resets everybody's baseline going mm -hmm. into it. Mm -hmm. And then it raises their personal quotient. They're able to show up fully and yeah. get things done quicker with less stress. So it's a win-win for everybody. Yes. And so really, the challenge is just the invitation is just remembering to do it before you're going into something that's really important. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly right. So let's talk about um, some of the successes. You've mentioned a few examples along the way. Like, Give us another example of mm -hmm. a challenge that your client had and, and how you addressed it and what some of the results and impact was. Mm -hmm. There's a great example. One of my clients who uh, works for Calvin Klein and she had a couple things going on. She had a health disorder with her thyroid from the stress yeah. and from feeling like she couldn't really speak her truth in the context of her work environment. And then she also had a very challenging conflict with her boss who's very senior. She's quite senior. She's a director there and her boss reports into the CEO. Anyways, they had a big personality conflict and it's a great example of how one person shifting their energy will shift the whole thing. So this is somebody who was very reactive, got put on probation, found herself very frustrated because she is able to do her job well, but it was really a conflictual personality mm -hmm, conflict mm -hmm. situation that she yeah. wasn't going to win the way she was doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is also somebody who had done more well-known things. She had gone, done conventional coaching, traditional coaching, traditional therapy, all the traditional things, helping things that are amazing. But what she found is that she still wasn't getting past a certain point. She, point. she was still stuck in certain patterns, which is how she ended up coming to NOM coaching. Because actually, when you're into that behavior pattern, mm -hmm. you're all you need is something that taps into your trigger. Mm -hmm. And it taps into your primitive mm -hmm. brain, your amygdala. It gets mm -hmm. hi hijacked, and you're often running on that emotional Before you reaction. even know it. It's not it happens so response. quickly. Yeah. So this kind of cuts in to that reaction. Mm -hmm. So take us through that a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so what I had said to her, and I, and you know, and all of this seemed different from what from the tools and techniques she was used to using. Yeah. But she was in a tough spot, so she yeah. was quite open to the invitation to try something new anything and to get out of point, her comfort right? zone. Yes. Anything at this point. Yeah. And I said to her, you know, and she's a very concrete person. She's a businesswoman, and I said to her, you know. Let's not get too far ahead. Let me give you some things. Let's see how you can apply it this week. And if you see a sh things starting to shift, then we can take it from there. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't expect you to make, you know, you don't know me. Right. So yeah. why should you make a leap of faith, especially when you've done all these other different things other work. things? Right, exactly, that were really tough for you. Right. So that was agreeable to her. She started with this breathing technique before she, that we just went through. Mm -hmm before she went into meetings with him. Mm -hmm. And what she found is instead of being stuck in the I and the vic feeling victimized by him, she was able to become clear enough so that she could respond to his demands without getting caught up in Defense. feeling like she was personally being attacked yeah. and defensive yep. and going into that mode. So what she was able to do is to solve the problem, not to stop attacking the problem at the level of the problem, she was able to go above the problem to a solution. To a solution. Yeah. Fast forward a year, she used, through the coaching program, we do a lot of different techniques, but this is just the one that she started off with because she was busy, she didn't have a lot of time, it was very accessible to her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fast forward a year, she went from being on prob probation to getting promoted. It was amazing. 
the whole energy, her boss, whole dynamic the whole dynamic, the whole dynamic changed. Her boss, who they didn't get along with at all. In fact, he had said, you know, if I could fire you, I would, but HR won't let me. I can't fire someone because I don't like them. You do a great job. It went from that dynamic to her getting promoted, to her being recognized for her work, to the point where he sees her as his right hand, as an extent, a positive extension of him. Isn't that amazing? So it's become quite a win-win for not only her, but for her boss and also the whole department, because that shifted the whole energy in the, apart in the department. It's amazing, and we're talking about is some very simple things mm -hmm. that can really make a 10% difference that can affect a whole dynamic. Mm -hmm. Everything from the bottom line to, you know, health, her health, her thyroid improved tremendously from doing certain mantras with different sounds related from the technology of NOM, working with sound and... Okay, so, so we only have two more minutes, but you okay. just introduced a word that I don't know that we had mentioned earlier, okay. mantra. Okay. Mantra is something, you can think of it as an affirmation, but the quality of the sound is so high that it's able to recalibrate. Again, going back to our earlier points, it's able to recalibrate the nervous system and integrate both the left and right hemispheres of the brain. So it's a very powerful sound frequency. Yeah. So we're talking about hand symbols, different positions of hand symbols, mm -hmm. breath work, mm -hmm. and, and mantra, so and sound. And, sound. sound. and the quality of your communication. Yeah. So, so let's just recap. We, we started the show talking about aligning your energy to show up as your best self. Mm -hmm. So summarize that for us. What does that mean? Working with NOM. The technology of NOM gives you the ability in one to three minutes to align yourself and access, go beyond your comfort zone, access your healthiest, most expansive self so that you can show up fully in life and work. Perfect. Thank you. And we gave our audience one concrete exercise mm -hmm. that can help move them in that direction. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Kelly, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's, it's great. It's been a pleasure. Okay, great. All right. I'm Susan Shaner with Community Forum. Thanks for joining us. Until next time.